No one thought to look there. Now Donald can end this crisis once and for all. Congress has three weeks and counting to come up with a good solution for the border crisis. What are the chances they will come up with something everyone can agree with? Almost zero. And that's why Trump has an ace up his sleeve to cut the Democrats out. From American Thinker. While President Trump is correct to remain committed to building a border barrier and has asked all cabinet agencies for wall funding, he can fund the entire barrier without having to declare a national emergency. Instead, he can draw full funding for a complete border barrier from unobligated balances. Unobligated balances are the amounts of budget authority that have not yet been committed by contract or other legally binding action by the government. Former Senator Tom Coburn described unobligated balances as essentially money for nothing. While in 2012 there was an estimated $687 billion in unobligated balances, unobligated balances in federal and trust funds in FI 2019 is estimated to be a whopping $1,156,136,000,000. This plan works on multiple levels. Not only will it finally pay for the border wall, but it will also be impossible for Democrats to stop it. A president using unobligated funds to finance a project is hardly unprecedented. President Johnson used it to fund his great society, while Nixon dipped into it to fund the Vietnam War. The Bushes also used these funds to help pay for the Iraq War. Far too often these funds are simply returned to the Treasury or are used on projects that don't have noticeable benefits for Americans. Shouldn't this money be used for something that will protect us here at home? And using unobligated funds to pay for the wall wouldn't require the approval of Congress. He just needs to have the Treasury reclaim that money, and then he can use a portion of the $2 trillion sitting and used in federal and trust funds. Share to thank President for finding all the money to build the border wall we need.